What's going on YouTube, Chamber Productions coming back at you with another Transformers video review and in today's video we'll be taking a look at the original 2007 Transformers Leader Class Optimus Prime. Now I don't have his original packaging nor do I have any of his accessories that he came with. Um, I got this guy for $25 I store in Raleigh, North Carolina called Chromag Toys. I'll leave a couple links in the description below, one to their website and another um, to this uh, to this figure so you can get your own Optimus figure. But yeah, here he is in his Peterbilt semi-truck mode. In semi-truck mode, it looks very, very nice, and I really do like it. Um, he looks really, really good. And it's just a good, chunky figure, and he's got a heft to him as well. He's not like a really light figure. And he is a leader class, but he does have lights and sounds of something... That and Automorph, that was really big with Transformers back then, especially leader class figures. Um, they either had some form of Automorph gimmick or some sort of lights and sounds. Um, yeah, so to activate, uh, to activate Prime's lights and sounds, you just press this button right here. Any honks and LEDs start lighting up in the cab of the truck. But, I mean, it's pretty cool. Um... There's a little Autobot insignia uh, painted with some red. Very nice little detail. Some blue headlights. Um, got some translucent blue in the ca uh, cab. He does have pinned on wheels. They aren't. Uh, they are not painted, unfortunately. Um, but he does roll really, really well. Um, has no problems whatsoever rolling. Uh, so yeah, that that's it's all good. Um, yeah, just overall very nice vehicle mode. Now, you would normally tab his gun right here. And as I mentioned, I got this guy for like $25. Um, they did have another one of these in stock with his original packaging and everything, but he was like $60. So I just went ahead and got this one. Um, I don't think it's that big of a difference. I didn't get his gun. Um, but yeah, yeah, overall this is a very good semi-truck mode. And I really do like him. And I, I, it's just a very cool, chunky little figure. There's not a whole lot of kibble going on. It's just a very solid figure. Also, one thing you'll notice is that the tires are made of this rubberish material. Which is, again, very, very nice. These figures um, were built very nice. Unfortunately, these smoke sacks are uh, made of like a rubberish material. But, I mean, I'm, I'm okay with that. It's still very, very nice figure, and I definitely welcome it to my collection. Um, so, setting him down for comparison, let's bring in a Deluxe Class Cliff Jumper. Um, as you can see, I would say these scale fairly, fairly accurately. Um, they do scale well with each other. It, they just look good in my opinion now this is sort of your bumblebee comparison here because i do not have the original deluxe class bumblebee from 2007 uh so uh cliff jumper is the same mold as bumblebee he's just a repaint so um let's bring in jazz uh deluxe class jazz from 2007 um as you can see uh yeah they scale just about the same as cliff jumper did um, without our he scales just about the same as cliff jumper did with optimus but i mean at the end of the day i feel like Cl our jazz is a lot more of a bulky figure and i think cliff jumper scales a little bit better with prime but i mean they do look good nonetheless and uh just let's bring in and for our, our final comparison let's just go ahead and bring in um optimus prime's arch rival megatron this is the 2007 leader class megatron and as you can see these guys scale fairly decently i mean obviously they are the same size class so this isn't it's hard to say um we never really saw the two vehicles side by side but who really cares um you know these are both pretty cool little figures um put megatron right there and as you can see megatron is significantly wider than optimus due to his wingspan and obviously he's a jet so he's going to be wider uh let's rotate off around to the side and just to give you guys a more accurate um, size scale for length, I'm going to try to get this perfectly lined up. Yep, there we go. So as you can see, they're about the same length. Uh, Megatron's just a little bit longer due to these pieces right here. But um, yeah, that's your size scale for these two. Um, but that's all there is for size comparison, so let's set Megatron off to the side. 
Yeah, and um, Prime's got a pretty fun transformation. It is fiddly, I will admit, but it's a pretty cool transformation. What we're going to do is we're going to come around to the back here, and we're going to untab this trailer hitch right here. Now, it will split, and then that will sort of give us clearance from these black sections to fold, um, fold that section down. Then we can take these sections right here, fold them up. And, yes, that is loose, and I'll get into that here in a little bit. Um... Then what we'll do from there is we're going to take these sections here and we're going to untab them from the sides. And they do tab in rather securely. So, let me just show you on this side. This will untab from the side. And then we can untab this section here. And I have no fingernail, so I cannot get the proper leverage. There we go. Then we can take the front of the truck here and we're going to pull this down just like so and it's on ratchet joints so it, it kind of hard to pull down um then what we're going to do is just sort of pull this stair these stairs down on the side get these untabbed then we can go ahead and split the legs um we'll what we'll, will form the legs in the robot mode just go ahead and split those um then what we'll do then what we will do from there is untab these sections here at the back just like so, just untab these sections and fold them around. And they will tab into place um, on the side of the truck. There is a tab right there in a tab hole. So these will tab into place. Obviously with this figure being older, at least on my figure, it doesn't uh, stay tab in, tabbed in as well. So um, yeah. Then what we will do from there is we're gonna take these sections here, these gas tanks, and we gotta make sure we have clearance. Take these uh, gas tanks and fold them up onto the back. And then these stairs will fold up onto the side of the gas tank. So just do that on both sides. And then once we do that, uh, there's a tab right there and a tab hole right there. And that will all sort of collapse and tab into place. So make sure you got the clearance. And then rotate everything up just like so. Make sure that folds up all the way. And then tab that piece into place just like so then what we'll do then what we will do from there is take the um, crotch section and fold that forward and that will tab into place right there and there's a tab hole right there so just tab all that into place fold down the legs make sure all that's situated then we'll take these sections here fold the kneecaps up I guess these would be called kneecaps then we can fold these sections forward just like set up uh, just like that and they will tab into place then come around to the bottom of the uh, or come around to the feet then we can take these sections here fold them down and then fold this whole piece down and then fold that up um, this is again automorph uh, on this foot it doesn't like to stay into place um, sometimes it will sometimes it won't then we take then we can take this section here and fold that up just like so, and I bump the camera, my bad. Do that on both sides, and these will tab into place. There's a tab, a tab hole right there, and this section will go through this little hole right here and tab into the back of the leg, just like so. Then we just get the feet or the legs organized so he'll stand up, tap the arms back into place, and then just get enough clearance to fold these, um, shorter pads around so just move the arms out out of the way enough to fold those shorter sections down then we just got to untab the arms and then move the hinge joints there we go um the hinge it hinges in to connect to the section of the truck to make the um sort of the back um section of the cab so um then we can sort of straighten out the arm then we can come around to the underside of the arm here and fold his hand out just like so and then we can fold all that back up and again all ratchet joints so it is a little bit on the tricky side um, mainly when filming uh, then we can take his thumb his thumbs on a ball joint take it fold it up and bring it around then we take these little spike sections and fold them up do that uh, repeat that same process on this side 
and fold that around. Fold this shorter piece up. Then make sure everything's secured in place. Make sure this back, uh, back section's folded up all the way. Um, then, after all that, press this little button. And here we have Transformers Leader Class Optimus Prime in his robot mode. And this is the slimmest, most accurate... Okay, I'm not fooling anybody. This is the... the this is the bulkiest Optimus figure I think I have in my collection. I don't... I just don't know what to say. Except it's amazing. That, that's all I can really say for this figure. Is it perfect? Absolutely not. Far from it. But there's a certain charm to this bulkiness that just sort of sets him apart in my collection. I mean... It, I don't know what it is. It's just... You know... Movie 1 Leader Class Optimus. Just a really cool figure in my opinion. And that's all I can really say about it. He is extremely back heavy due to these canisters and the wheel wells and all sorts of other kibble going on. And like I said, these figures, mainly leader class, had a lot of lights and sounds or some sort of automorph gimmick. And this is a really good example of what the 2000s, uh, 2007's Transformers were like back then, 12 years from now, um, at least at this recording anyway. Um, but, I mean, yeah, it's just, and like I said, there he goes, he's extremely back heavy. Now, normally, you would be able to put his gun right here from vehicle mode, and then he would have sort of like an automorph um, attack gimmick, I guess you could say. Um, what you do is, is on the underside of this piece here, there's a little um, knob, and as you push that knob forward, it would push, um, it will push this section here out, um, but not only will it do that, it will fold the gun forward. So it'd sort of go over his fist, but, um, you know, I don't have the gun. But, uh, let's just use our imagination and say, and say it's there. Um, coming in to take a look at some of the details here. We got nice little feet. Try to get my camera to fold in, or zoom in. Uh, like I said earlier, this, this foot doesn't really want to stay deployed all the time. Um... But yeah, as you can see, a little Autobot insignia from the truck mode carried over into the foot mode, or the foot. Um, like I said, this doesn't want to stay folded out all the time. A um, little bit of detail there on the thighs. A uh, little bit of details, and you can sort of see right in there. I think that's the speaker for the um, lights and sounds. Um, as you can see, there's the head sculpt. It, there, zoom in on that, or coming a little bit closer. Some nice silver paint. Um, there is some detail in the arms, and the shoulders, and whatnot. Um, but like I said, this guy's extremely bulky, and I really do like this figure. It's just, it's just a nice little. Uh, this is just a nice. Optimus figure. I don't know why. I just like them for whatever reason. I just do. So taking a look at his articulation, he's got a ratchet in the shoulder, so he can rotate full 360 if you can get clear of that um, gas canister on his back. He's got a ratchet at the arm, so he can uh, ratchet outwards. Uh, shoulder pads on a ball joint, so you can sort of do whatever you want with it, and then it's on a hinge joint right here at the actual uh, shoulder. He's got a ratchet here and a ratchet here, so it sort of allows you to get a double bend at the elbow. And then there's a swivel joint right above the actual elbow, so it allows you to get some swivel action. Then each finger on his fist is individually articulated, so you can definitely get some different poses with him. Um, you can almost get the, uh, Optimus, you know, rollout scene, um, from the movie, almost, except, except his fingers constantly curved, but, I mean, individually articulated fingers is very, very rare in Transformers nowadays, and his thumb is on a ball joint, so you can, um, swivel it a little bit, and you can get him, sorta, giving him thumbs up, it's a little bit awkward, um, they're just awkwardly positioned, but hey, 
thumbs up on this video uh, as well. So quite a bit of motion in the hand. Um, there is no swivel in the hand, unfortunately. His head is on a swivel, although it's not full 360 due to lights and, or the electronics going throughout the head sculpt. Um, <clears throat> he does have ratchets in the uh, uh, he does have ratchets in the hip. Um, can kick forward and backwards, although as you can imagine, kibble gets in the way. Um, he can kick outwards, but again, kibble gets in the way. Um, now, something I think is rather cool, and they did this just for the articulation, is that this section here folds, uh, well, not that section, this section here folds back, and he does have a ratchet at the knee, so they uh, they did that so you can get, um, you can bend his knee, which is really, really cool in my opinion, and then he does have a swivel in the, um, right at the knee as well, and again, foot doesn't want to, uh, the foot doesn't want to stay deployed. Um... And then he does have a ball joint in the foot as well, so that sort of does help stabilize him, especially on my desk, because it is um, a little bit slanted, um, so sort of helps get him stabilized. But I mean, overall, it's a very nice little figure, and I really do like him, and again, he's not perfect, but, you know, um, for size comparisons, let's set him over to the, off the side here, let's bring in... Uh, let's bring in Deluxe Class Cliff Jumper, and um, as you can see, these two scare fairly well together. Um, I think they look pretty good, in my opinion, side by side. Um, there's that. Let's bring in Jazz, and again, some of the Transformers were fairly bulky and chunky. Jazz, for example, uh, just the chunky figure out. I don't know what to tell you. And then there's Megatron, his um, arch rival Megatron. And uh, this is a really, really good side-by-side. Um, -side. We got the original Optimus from 2007 and the original Megatron from 2007. This is just special to me, these two figures. And like I said, uh, they do have automorph gimmicks. Like Megatron here has a similar automorph gimmick to Prime. and But his electronics don't work, unfortunately. So, <laughs> But yeah, it is cool to see them side by side. But yeah, that, that's really all there is for this review. Do I recommend Leader Class Optimus? If you're a Transformers fan or a movie fan, yes, I do recommend him. He's really cool. Um... I just don't know why. There's a certain charm to this figure that I really can't say no to. And I think if you're an Optimus Prime fan, this is a must-have um, for your collection. But guys, that's all for me. I hope you all enjoyed it. So be sure to click like, comment what you think of Optimus Prime in the comment section below, and be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video from my channel. That's all for me, Champion Productions, signing off.